I had been hearing about this for a while, and uh, sometimes your initial impulse is to answer things right away, sort of uh, <laughs> put out your knee-jerk reaction to it, you know, your initial reaction to it. But sometimes it's better to wait and see, to wait to see how other people deal with it, what other people say about it, and see and watch the story develop, and then comment on it. And so. Uh, that's what I did in this one, this, and this is the whole issue with Miley Cyrus. Now, although I am what I am, and because I'm a geek, I still have my uh, childhood with me, and I am a, uh, a, a Hannah Montana fan. I've, wa I've watched all the shows and, and enjoyed her as Hannah Montana. Now, a lot of stars, for some reason, particularly the girls, seem to think that in order to uh, break away from this particular uh, Disney mold, this, you, you, the, the, the childhood star mold, that they have to go off and do these, uh, what they call, extreme things. Uh, but this is kind of, uh, I think, is a myth. It's something that, 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 that is an expectation that in your 20s, uh, particularly early 20s, between uh, the ages of 19 and 25, that you have to go off and do something crazy. I know this is what typically happens uh, between 19 and 20. This, uh, 19 and 25, uh, that's when you do your craziest stuff. The not necessarily the most logical things, but you end up doing them. And in many cases, you end up regretting what you do uh, in the 19, in that time span. Uh, and this is something, but, but the thing is, most kids, most people when they're aged between 19 and 25, uh, is not done publicly, it's not done in front of the public. But yet, as, as, a, as a celebrity who grew up in front of the public, her, because she is, her eye, because she is in the public, her, that period of time between 19 and 25 is going to be in the public. And just like Lindsay Lohan, uh, Britney Spears, and you see the things that they do, and then you see the opinions around them. You see the strong opinions that say what she's done is wrong, and then they see that, then you have those who hate her for what she's done. Uh, but then again, you go, and then you have the opposite view that what she does doesn't matter. In other words, dismisses it. And this is sort of the case here with this uh, this uh, this uh, channel that I'm on, Young Nineteen Vlogs. Uh, from the girl named Ashley. She's got the uh, beauty channel. I sort of found her channels uh, uh, through the uh, show that I'm working on for my channel, uh, Cyborg Alpha TV, called Beauty and the Geek. And I watch her vlogs. I, I, pick, I pick and choose different things. And this is sort of where I came across her thing on Miley Cyrus. And before she had... I, Check out some of her videos before she talks about the media and how the media influences girls and you know the negative influences of the media. But she doesn't consider that Miley Cyrus is part of the media and gives Miley Cyrus sort of a pass on this. But the problem is Miley Cyrus is part of the media and she's part of the media problem. And because because of her choices that she's made over the last few few uh, let's say a couple of years. Uh, she's made a conscious choice to be part of the media problem, that image problem that girls will have when they look at the media. They see things that are not good, not healthy for them, uh, because girls, uh, particularly, you look at people as role models. They talk about role models a lot. Uh, guys don't necessarily. The guys don't really necessarily have role models. They just guys in many cases between the ages of 15 and 25 behave very immature. They, they, there is no conscious thought to ha as to how I'm going to behave between 15 and 25 for guys. For girls, there is this conscious uh, effort to think about uh, how I'm going to be and how I'm going to behave. And that's what they talk about when they talk about girls talk about role models. They talk about the conscious effort on how you're going to behave. Guys have no such concept <laughs> between that. Uh, between and I'm talking about most guys. I'm not talking about all guys. Most guys have no such concept between the the ages of 15 and 25. And so you see, guys do a lot more stupid things than girls. Well, that's why guys are more often like more often not going to the hospital, getting, injuring themselves, doing these stupid all doing these stupid stuff. All you have to do is look at the TV show Jackass. There are mostly guys on there, and there's a reason for it because the guys at that don't consider the consequences of what's going to happen uh, if they do these things. So <laughs> they go off and do them because they just think it's funny. And there's no thought, I think there literally is no thought behind it. But girls are, are, are often more thoughtful about things. 
And so in this case, where they do have these role models, and Miley Cyrus is this yeah, role model yeah, for girls, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you have is now is you have Miley Cyrus participating in this media image of how girls should be. And this is where it becomes problematic. Well, for guys, it doesn't matter. Guys are the guys are way guys are. And the thing is, I'm not excusing this. I don't think this is a good thing. I, that, the way, and I'll give you my choice. My choice, I'm not a standard guy. I never was a standard guy. I could never do the standard guy things. But I know a lot of guys who could do these standard things, and they, they typically did do these things, and they thought this way. They don't think about how a girl feels. They don't think about what, what she is or what she isn't. They don't care about that stuff. A, a, a guy simply wants to see a girl naked, and that's it. There's no there's no other reasoning or rationale behind it. A guy between ages 15 and 25 will behave the way he does with girls simply because that's the way he behaves. There's no thought behind it. They're not thinking about how I'm going to behave. They're not thinking about the concept. They're not thinking about the person or the personality behind there. They're not thinking of you as a person. They think of you as an object. You're something to be scored, something to be gained, an object to be obtained. And that's it. There's nothing more behind it. But yet, girls don't seem to understand this. You, generation after generation, is the same issue. Girls are always the object to be obtained. And in many cases, as much as girls uh, uh, protest, protest this and talk about feminism, when it comes down to the reality, they walk away from their words, words and their behaviors betray their own senses, their own sensibility, their own thoughts, their own beliefs. And I think it's not what you say that makes you are. It's the way you behave. It's what you do that makes you what you are. And this whole thing about this uh, Molly Cyrus, that everyone's talking about, and the girls who are coming up and defending her, talking about how sex is power, that she's being powerful. Guys don't care about that. Guys have no, no concern with this at all. They don't care that, that she's being powerful. She, they're happy about that. They're happy that girls talk about, oh, sex is power, because that means they get more pussy. This, you know, this is put it this way. They don't care about you. There's no thought about you at all. They're gonna dump you. You're a toy to them. Between 15 and 25, you're a toy. They're not going to marry you. There is no thought to marriage. There is not thought, no thought to the relationship between 15 and 25. It's only after that, after the 25 mark, that's when they start thinking, hey, I'm getting older. I need to find somebody to, sit down, to settle with. And it's not going to be the girl they fooled around with. That girl is simply a toy. And every guy knows this. That there are toys to play with. And these are, these are the girls who are, who, who are willing to do this. And then there are those who you marry. And then, as I was saying, guys really don't, between the ages of 15 and 25, don't have respect for girls the way that girls think they should, that, that, that guys should have respect for them. What ends up happening invariably is that a girl views that if they give in to a guy's interests or, or wants and what he, the guy claims is his need, that somehow they can change the guy and this guy will be faithful, will change his mind, will be a nice person to them, will respect them and so on and so forth. But that's not the case. And the case, from what I've observed, and I've seen a lot of these popular guys, and guys will speak and reveal things to guys that girls don't know about, and the girl, guys will never say this to, guy, to another girl. And because, particularly the cute guys who have a lot of girls after them, who a lot of girls are interested in them, uh, they more often than not will not choose one girl. They'll have one main girl, and then they'll have what they call options on the side. And these options, and every every guy knows what I'm talking about. Most guys, if they're popular or no popular guy, know what I'm talking about when they talk about options. Is that yeah, you want the pop, the popular guy, the cute guy, the hunk will have that uh, main girlfriend, and I say main girlfriend because there are other girlfriends. There he has options on the side, and this girl has no idea that these girls are even there. And the thing is, is that these are all the other girls who are after this guy, but. This main girl who won the guy, the cute guy, she thinks that she's the only one, but she isn't. And this is this is the mindset of guys. This this is the way the guys think in, in, during during this time frame between 15 and 25. This is the way they think. For them, for a guy, it's it, you, you see all these guy movies about spring break and stuff like that. And it's for them, it's about that score. It's about that conquest. 
And there's no thought to the person behind it. So when you have someone like Miley Cyrus come out and talk about talking about sex as power and being more sexually open in terms of uh, demonstrating her talent, of course the average guy is going to go, yay, good for Miley, because they know that a lot more girls are going to be now going to say, oh, this is the way Miley Cyrus is doing it, maybe I should do the exact same thing. In other words, it's good, Miley Cyrus is going to be putting more pressure on girls in terms of how they look, how they behave in front of guys, what they're allowing guys to do to them, uh, than they ordinarily will if, they, if, if Miley Cyrus wasn't there. In other words, Miley Cyrus is consciously becoming the media problem that often many girls complaining about, complain about. You can't complain, and this, this, this sort of makes the, the whole feminist argument about how girls should behave in public, and that, oh, we can do whatever we want to do. You can't because what you do really, in many ways, defines who you are. And if you're open, being openly sexual, and you're being, and acting like an object, something to be a, a, a desired, something to be obtained, then people are going to, guys particularly, are going to treat you like an object. That's how, because that is how you're behaving. You're behaving like an object, even though you're protesting about object, being objectified. If you're acting like an object, then you are an object. But it doesn't matter what you said before. It's how you behave. It's how you act. And what Miley Cyrus is doing, and this is no different from uh, Rihanna, this is no different from Britney Spears, this is no different from Lindsay Lohan, or any other, or Lady Gaga, or any other of the, uh, the other uh, uh, female uh, talent who feel the need that when they want to demonstrate their talent, they take their clothes off. In other words, their talent is their, is, their, is their body. Their talent is their sexuality and nothing more. This is what they're saying to people. When they actually do this, this is what people see. That their talent is their sexuality. Their talent is their body and nothing more. It doesn't matter how well they sing. It doesn't matter how well they dance. It doesn't matter how well they act. When they do these things, the, their other talent, their real talent, is overshadowed, is obscured, it can't be seen, and what is seen is what they're doing. Now the question is, is this what you want? Do you want this for women? If, if, if you believe in women role models, do you want this for women? Do you see the problem here? If you do, then you need to stand up and say, well, you know what? Yeah, she made this choice, but this is the wrong choice to make. If you're going to be a role model, if women are going to look towards role models, and she is going to be a role model for women, or girls, or whatever you, however you want to phrase it, then you need to act like a role model, role model that, that will benefit other people. Right now, Miley Cyrus' role model, as a role model, does not benefit other people, does not benefit other girls. Well, it benefits the guys, in terms of saying other people. It benefits guys because, yeah, the, the guys are getting what they want. They're encouraging, she's encouraging more girls to give guys what they want. But, oh, don't worry about it, it's alright, you're just a person, as long as you're good in the end, you know, that's all that counts. But no, it, it does matter. It does matter. And the thing is, there are consequences to this, these behaviors later on down the road that she may not realize right now. So the question is, you know, when you're doing this stuff, you need to think about, is this right or is this wrong? And it doesn't necessarily mean this person is, is going to be a, an evil person or a nasty person. It just means they're doing something wrong. And, and if they're doing something wrong, this wrong stuff has to be acknowledged that it is wrong and encourage them to do the right thing. Miley Cyrus is very talented. I saw her as, as, as a young person, as Hannah Montana. I thought she was very talented. She doesn't need to be naked to tell me how talented she is. I don't need to see her body in order to say, hey, she's talented. But if that's all she sees from herself, and that's all the way, the only way she can get attention, and that's what her main goal is, getting attention, she's not paying attention to her talent. So anyways, uh, 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 that's my two cents on this. I don't know how you feel. Leave comments down below. Anyways, this is uh, it for, uh, for video comments for today or for now. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.